What's going on everybody? It's DRock and today we got a New York Comic Con exclusives haul for you and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this year's con. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty, we just got back from New York Comic Con, which was a fantastic time, man. We enjoyed ourselves thoroughly throughout all four days. All four days I went to New York Comic Con, and it was a great time, man. We're going to start this off with just a little haul, all the stuff that I got while I was there, and then I'll give you my thoughts on Comic Con. So we'll start out, I guess, with the uh, the Dragon Ball Z bag, man, the little backpack. So if you go to the Dragon Ball Z exhibit... Uh, early in the morning, they're just giving these away for free, which is awesome. So me and my wife picked up each one of them. Uh, we gave them one to my uh, my brother-in-law. He's a big fan of Dragon Ball. This is like, I guess, the new series that's coming out with Dragon Ball. Had to pick that up. They had a bunch of different ones at other exhibits as well. There's like sci-fi ones and etc. Pretty dope. Um, and then, you know, I had to get the Ryan Otley mystery box. This was... Uh, Big on my list. This was one of the first places that I stopped on Thursday. I wanted to get this box. You could get like signed uh, issues of Invincible, the New York Comic Con exclusive. There were like slabs in there, original artwork, all sorts of things that you could win in these mystery boxes. I think it was a one in three chance of winning anything. I unfortunately didn't really win anything. I just kind of got the basic boxes, but they're 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 not basic. They're real sick boxes. So. Uh, We'll get into this quick as well, but I did throw a couple things in here that I did end up getting at New York Comic Con. So they had this uh, this Chucky Street team that was just all over the con, all dressed up as Chucky with Chucky dolls, uh, kind of a, with like vote Chucky and all this stuff. So I got this Chucky bag. I got Chucky campaign pins. We kept seeing them over and over again. So I picked up a bunch of these, some more pins in here. Just dope. I, I love that they just... Uh, you know, have people going around promoting things and giving out a bunch of free swag for stuff. So we got these like Vote Chucky or whatever. Uh, and Chucky We Trust bumper stickers here. Uh, a bunch of other stickers as well. So much Chucky stuff from here. The Chucky Show was fantastic on Sci-Fi. If you have not checked it out, definitely do. So let's start out with what I got. And we're going to start out with a bunch of foils. I got the uh, Carnivore Comics Swamp Thing number one. The foil variant, man. Badass book there. Carnivore Comics had some fantastic exclusives this year. Probably all of my favorite. Hopefully that's picking up on camera well because it is the foil. But man, had to pick up that Swamp Thing number one. Got a couple stickers of Carnivore Comics as well. Decepticons and Autobots. These are perfect for what's coming up next because you know I had to get the uh, the Raph Grissetti. Transformers issue number one. Foil New York Comic Con exclusive. Carnivore Comics and Comic Tom beautiful beautiful cover of optimus prime man i mean just hopefully that's picking up well badass book this was also one of the first uh places i wanted to stop there and pick this up badass book i had to get that man and then of course my boy danhausen was there and i, I had to pick up the danhausen batman 251 homage the the classic neil adams cover this is done by Bill Morrison, and of course, you know, I had to get Danhausen to sign this thing in that awesome green ink, man, badass comic cover. Uh, I was very, uh, very happy to get my hands on one of these and to meet up with Danhausen again and get him to sign this book here. So now we're going to get into some Otley stuff. We got the uh, the New York Comic Con exclusive signed by Ryan Otley in color. So dope. I was glad that I got this in the box as well. This is one of the books that I wanted the most throughout the con. This was the one that I really was hunting down, and uh, I was very happy to get that. And then along with that, I also got the uh, the, the sketch variant, or the black and white, whatever whatever you want to call it here, I guess. So uh, we got that that variant as well. Then we got the uh, another one of those. So I got another one of those in there. Great looking book, man. See, these, these uh, I think they were like $175 each. I picked up two of them. Decent amount of comics in it. So we got the Battle Beast Invincible there as well. I think that's Baltimore Con exclusive. Then we got another Battle Beast. So you get doubles of some things, but it is what it is. Then you got some Hulk, man. The Hulk issue number three. It's double signed by Donnie Cates and Ryan Otley. So that came in the box. I got another one of those as well. Still double signed by Cates and Otley. And then another Incredible Hulk, number five, double signed by Donny Cates and Ryan Otley. Dope, man. So you get some good stuff in these boxes for sure. 
and then some more incredible hulk issue number six signed by otley and donny cates again and then i did get a double of that so great stuff in these boxes man i was very happy to get all of these issues unfortunately i didn't get like one of the uh, the slabs or anything like that but hey it's it's all good with me man i was happy with what i got and then on to the next books of what i picked up so one of the books i was hunting down the whole time i didn't see anywhere and then i finally went to a very gary's booth man and he had it i picked up the department of truth issue number one this is going to be a hot book soon because tinian had mentioned that he's writing a screenplay for this series so uh hopefully we'll see a department of truth show on like netflix or something soon but very affordable book it's like 60 bucks right now so if you're looking to pick this up get it now before it skyrockets because it's definitely going to go up and then uh the last book that i have here is uh just the actual uh batman 251 i think this is the uh comic pop collectibles exclusive i'm not sure which con this was from but uh they had this already there graded classic neil adams cover with dan housen bill morrison cover um i had to pick this up man i seen it there i was like i want this book right now already in a slab so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up but um all together i had a fantastic time at new york comic con the booths were all really solid this year i think NECA and diamond select had fantastic booths you had NECA with like the life-size chucky and a bunch of the toonie terrors and they're just regular figures the scream uh new york comic con exclusive was there my wife picked that up uh they have really good horror figures in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They have a bunch of the last Ronin figures that are be coming out soon. Uh, that was a great little booth to check out. Like I said, Diamond Select, they absolutely killed it when it comes to their Star Wars statues, their X-Men statues, just Marvel statues. They had the sick Beta Ray Bill statue that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, they had some fantastic stuff. I do miss the fact that they don't have like Sideshow Collectibles or XM Studios or even like Queen Studios there. It would be great if they had booths with their like big elaborate statues on display. But uh, I guess you can't get everything at the cons. But it was dope seeing like the big Dragon Ball Z characters and they had like the huge Godzilla all kinds of stuff man it was a they had some really really fantastic booths this year one of the coolest things about new york comic con is that when you're looking around for comics and such celebrities are doing the same thing so i ran into dan Housen multiple times when i was looking around for comics and whatnot and just checking out the booths uh, i ran into uh, some other aew wrestlers private party were there uh, my wife pointed out uh, this dude pon from that show ink masters that we're fans of he was just walking around looking for comics himself uh, one of the coolest experiences though of the whole con probably my favorite moment is uh, i had to run back to my hotel room to drop some of this stuff off because i didn't want to carry it around and who do i see waiting outside of my hotel but john carpenter himself very cool man we walked up introduced ourselves he introduced himself we had a little chat i didn't want to take up too much of his time but uh it was very cool to meet him i mean escape from new york the thing halloween of course he is an absolute legend and to do uh, to meet him and not have to do like the uh, the weird photo session at new york comic-con with him where it's not very personal you kind of just walk up to take a picture of you and then you leave like we actually got to hang out with him for a couple minutes and just chat it up and he's a he's a very cool guy man it was a it was a one of my highlights of this trip for sure another great thing about new york comic-con is the panels man i was able to actually reserve a ton of panels this year we got the amazon prime one which was fantastic robert kirkman came out and talked about invincible the new season coming out and uh, the third season as well the pop when they uh, mentioned invincible in that panel was crazy everything else was like silent once they once they mentioned invincible the crowd went absolutely nuts which was a, a good feeling for sure being a fan of the show uh it was great to see kirkman talk about the show man he uh he gave us some details about the upcoming season and about the third season as well there's going to be some crazy voice actors coming up on invincible uh, some of the other panels I went to was the Blumhouse one. So Jason Blum came out and talked about some of the upcoming movies that he has releasing. That Night Swim uh, movie coming out, which looks pretty good. We got to see the trailer for that. We also went to the Daryl Dixon uh, panel where Norman Reedus came out. They talked about the final episode and just the series in general. Uh, we actually got to watch the final episode of the Daryl Dixon show with the crowd there at New York Comic Con, which was a lot of fun. Uh, what else did we go to? We went to the Goosebumps. The Goosebumps was pretty cool on the main stage. Uh, we got these little slappy faces or whatever that you could hold up. Uh, 
we got to watch the first episode of Goosebumps in the room with uh with people at the con, man, which was a it was a fun experience. It was definitely different because the writer's strike is going on, so they couldn't really talk about certain things at most of the panels. A lot of the time, they just briefly mentioned what's going on and then like played an episode or played some trailers and such. So uh, I feel like that was a little bit lacking. I was glad that they had like uh, Robert Kirkman come out for Invincible. That was probably like the highlight of the panels for me. But uh, all right, I mean, it, it, it going to the panels was pretty fun. I did skip a lot of the ones I did reserve just because we kind of weren't into it. Another great thing about New York Comic Con is, of course, the cosplay, man. People absolutely killed it this year when it comes to cosplay. Some Predator stuff, some wrestlers, Spider-Man, Marvel characters, uh, like Wolverine, just like anything you can imagine was there at New York Comic Con and people absolutely knocked it out of the park. Over the weekend, I took a ton of different videos of them, and uh, you can watch all the reels. I did upload them on the YouTube channel while I was away. Um, altogether, man, I had a fantastic time at New York Comic Con this year. Last year was my first year. This was the second year. I think this year, even though with the writer's strike, the panels were kind of lacking a little bit, I think uh, because I had been there the year before, I got around to the booths a little bit better and we kind of managed our time a lot better than we did the previous year. Last year it kind of seemed like we were uh, running around with our heads cut off and I didn't really know what was going on. Like this year I had a plan, I knew when to film, I knew when to uh, you know get comics that I wanted and uh, it was a lot of fun, man. Let me know down in the comments if you went to New York Comic Con this year, what your favorite part of the con was, if you did. If you plan to go next year, maybe we can always meet up, man. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this comic book haul. And of course, as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>